You're tuned in to Rebooting Liberty. you ever wanted to have your own radio show rebooting liberty radio network currently has openings for live programs for a very small fee we will create a show intro bumper music and provide technical production for your hour-long show email producer at rebootingliberty.com for details you can find us at live.rebootingliberty.com Welcome Welcome. to Common Sense Coalition Talk Radio, where you'll find straight talk from people with good old common sense. I trust your opinion. And now, for your host, she's putting sense back into nonsense. Absolute insanity. Well, you can hear me on the radio. Your host, Beth Ann. And I welcome you today to CSC Talk Radio. It is my honor, my privilege, and my pleasure to be here with you today. We've had a very, very busy, busy weekend. We kicked it off on Friday with the news of what was taking place in Paris. And I have a little something I want to share with you on that. And then we will take calls later in the show. The enemy within. I got to thinking about what's going on. And Friday, as usual on any day, I'm sitting in my office. I have very little contact with the outside world other than my computer and my phone. I have no TV. I have no radio in here. I have a radio that I carry back and forth, and it doesn't happen to be inside right now. Well, late Friday afternoon, one of my sons called and said, Mom, I think you need to turn on the news. Paris has been attacked by terrorists. So I immediately started uh, surfing the World Wide Web with my dinosaur computer. And throughout the evening and the entire weekend, I was glued to the news. My heart breaking and the patriotism welling up within me to protect our own. Is ISIS the enemy? Is climate change the enemy? Is our runaway big government incorporated the enemy? I believe two out of three of these are correct. One is missing. I do not believe in climate change. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out why others do not see the truth in the hoax of it. However, all the dead and the wounded in Paris are very real. Another weekend challenge was Saturday night. I watched the Democrat debate. And guess what? They focused very little, very little on Paris, very little on foreign matters, very little on securing the borders they don't believe in. In fact, they all remain on board to bringing thousands and thousands of refugees to your hometown. And again, climate change has caused ISIS is what Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton say. That statement is so ludicrous, it's hard for me to believe that anybody believes it or that Bernie and Hillary keep saying it. Do you believe that garbage? I did have a genius moment yesterday, and perhaps this is the reasoning we should be considering. Hell is hot. ISIS is bringing hell to all, therefore ISIS is climate change. To stop climate change, stop ISIS. What happened in Paris will not stay in Paris. ISIS has threatened many others. Later on, I'll share a list of those. The enemy within? One enemy is our elected government incorporated, who continue to do and promise all these things free, free, free. They continue to label and pit Americans against one another. While we have college students whining about the need of a safe place, ISIS is coming to murder and destroy. 
Make no mistake, ISIS is here. ISIS is an enemy. Why are our young men and women so eager to join this hate organization driven to murder? The enemy within? The enemy is our own apathy and ignorance to see the handwriting on the wall. Climate change is not a real threat to anyone. Big Government Incorporated is not a friend to anyone. The Republic government is virtually done because we the people lack the truth and understanding as well as the fortitude to put to a stop to all this idiocy, criminal behavior, theft, lies, and treason perpetrated by our own elected officials appointed and appointed bureaucrats and the corrupt unconstitutional judges across the land. Yes, the enemy within finally falls to the truth. The leadership that stopped leading and started following and falling for lies. We are, are we lazy? Do we not love our children and grandchildren? Where is the republic? We the people. You. Me. Geraldo Rivera's daughter was in Paris. He started to review and rethink his thoughts regarding the borders and refugees. There comes a time when we must absolutely put the safety of our own first. Secure the borders. No refugees. No legal, immig- no legal immigrants. Stop the invasion now. Regroup in about five years. This is my synopsis. And then see where we are. The enemy within is apathy of we the people. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. And that's from Edmund Burke. We the people, you and me, must stop doing nothing and start standing up to save this nation to bring America home. And I'm going to pull out the verse one more time. From bondage to spiritual faith, from spiritual faith to great courage, from courage to liberty, from liberty to abundance, from abundance to complacency, from complacency to apathy, from apathy to dependence, from dependence back into bondage. It is up to we the people to make the change. Our own apathy, our own finger pointing at someone else is the true enemy within. That makes us vulnerable and susceptible to attacks from the outside, such as ISIS, who are within us. They are within our borders. They are here. Don't fool yourself and think they are not. I have a simple strategy that I'm going to share. And once again, I will say the attack will be at home. What happened in Paris will not stay in Paris. Arm our military bases and recruiting centers. It's foolishness not to arm our military. And Americans, you never, never give up your Second Amendment. Never give up your guns. That is our national security against an enemy within and against a tyrannical government. That's why the Second Amendment exists. Do not think that the United States is so great that it cannot fall because of its own. Secure our borders and stop the inflow now. Stop it. It is nothing prejudiced against anyone other than an outsider. Right now, we need to protect what is within our borders. Raise the intel across the nation. 
Watch out for your own neighborhoods. No refugees. No sanctuary cities. Keep Gitmo. ISIS will attack the innocent and unarmed because they do not have a real army. So they will not go army to army, head to head. They will attack the innocent. It is up to us, we the people, to protect the innocent, to protect our own, to protect our children and our grandchildren. And we will be right back. Are you a David? There are wolves, sheep, and sheepdog. And then there are shepherds. Just as young King David faced the impossible battle with the feared giant Goliath, we face giants today as well. Do we run or do we stand our ground? Our federal government is the epitome of corruption, abuse of power, and deceit have enslaved we the people. Property rights are non-existent. Gun owners are treated as terrorists. Citizens are plundered and reaped of rights and liberties. Is there a solution? Yes, you are the solution. You, the patriotic, the local peace officer, you, the elected official, the county sheriff. You must stand with faith, humility, and the strength of a warrior, as young David did. You are the solution. Order the book, Are You a David? by Sheriff Mack. Go to csetalkradio.com or send $15 to P.O. Box 73, California, Missouri, 65018. Be a shepherd in your community. csctalkradio.com. Bioag, working with nature naturally. Murray Bast has been my guest several times here on CSE Talk Radio. You know now he's devoted to helping farmers and ranchers. Murray is my common sense voice for improved agriculture. Farmers and ranchers are vital to any nation. Our food and how it's grown is more than just planting a seed, slopping the hogs, or feeding the cows. There's a science to it, and it takes a special kind of people. Since 1982, their mission has been to produce and supply products and services that warrant and support true sustainable agriculture. BioAg is a major supplier of natural products and services for livestock and crop production. Become a BioAg distributor. BioAg consultants and distributors are devoted. BioAg.com has all the products you need to improve your bottom line as well as improve your products and health. Visit bio-ag.com or call them at 1-800-363-5278. That's 1-800-363-5278. Gold and silver have been the foundation of wealth for individuals and nations the world over. The history of man is packed with coins, jewelry, and artifacts that have spoken to the intrinsic value esteemed in gold and silver due to their rarity, durability, and usefulness. I'm proud to call Melody Cedarstrom a friend and honored Discount Gold and Silver Trading is a loyal sponsor of CSE Talk Radio. A Christian company founded on the principles of truth and honesty, Melody provides quality products, quality service, and competitive pricing. Let Melody's over 20 years of experience Experience in gold and silver trading be your investment guide. From precious metals purchases to precious metals IRA. Whether you want to buy or sell, Melody and her team at Discount Gold and Silver will assist you and make sure you get the best deals possible. Call Melody and tell her thank you for sponsoring CSE Talk Radio and then let her know you want her to be your gold and silver dealer. Visit Melody online at dgscoins.com or just give her a call at 1-800-375-4188. That's 1-800-375-4188. And we have returned. You're listening to CSE Talk Radio. This is Beth Ann. I'm kind of covering what's happened over the weekend and some of my own menial, my simple minded ideas and what I think. And we're going to go to the phones. I have Roy from Illinois. Roy, how are you today? Beth, I'm fine. What can I do for you? Uh, I may, well, can I make a, comment, a couple of comments on what you just said on the radio? Sure. I'll pick you up as often as I can. Good. I'm 83 years old, so, oh, what's happening? You know, I'm, hey, but, but it, it bothers me. First place, I think the Democrats use this climate change as fear tactics. Oh, sure. We're going to just all die, and a, and a planet is, you know, going to get too hot. The sky is falling. And that's fear tactics. It's not true. Second place, when you fight a war, if you're going to destroy an enemy— you got to destroy his supply source. In other words, if a guy's got an AK-47 but no ammunition, he's just got a club in his hand. 
So I, look, I heard the news this morning. Where, now, I may be wrong on this, so you correct me if I'm wrong, but they're going to bomb some oil refineries or oil tanks that ISIS gets about $40 million a month out of. Yes, I heard to, that. To, to uh, you know, destroy. Well, if they know those things existed now, uh, they knew, they probably knew them when they first, this ISIS thing first came up. Why in the world didn't they start bombing them way back when this ISIS thing first came up? I think the key... Why wait, why wait this long, Beth? Uh, you know, I think the key word there is uh, oil. And yeah, oil. somebody wants that oil. You know, I've got, yeah. a, I've got a Marine brother that said a long time ago, if they ever wanted this to be over, all they had to do was take out the oils and they're done. They're done. You know what? Everybody's when done. In, when I was in Korea... Uh, of course, we had, uh, MacArthur had to fight a limited war. He made a statement one day. He said, I don't know how to bomb the south side of a bridge. <laughs> they flew along the, our pilots evidently flew along the Yalu River and saw stockpiles of war material over in Manchuria, but they couldn't go bomb it. So what we had is we had us a three-year war and lost 58,000 men because it, they wouldn't bomb them, wouldn't cut off the Chinese uh, military supplies. Right. It doesn't make sense, does it? It doesn't make any sense, does it, Roy? Our and government, and our, we got our president, our, uh, I don't want to get started this. <laughs> <laughs> the, longer, the longer I talk, the aggra- more aggravated I get. Well, we can blame him because he is the leader, but you know, really, the republic is supposed to be the leadership, and we have failed for numerous years, and that's why we're where we are, relying on sure D.C. Is. occupiers, occupying offices, and cutting deals and a lot of these wars are deals but right now we do have an enemy and isis is the enemy and they have yeah. declared war whether we're going to declare war verbally or not and when uh, the leadership the democrat party and president obama will not call isis by what they are they will not recognize them yes they are thugs but they are not jv team they are going at it and they're getting they're getting supplies they're sure they're are. taking well, out other yep every, but, Go ahead. But if you cut off their supplies, then you cut off the uh, the, the ability they have to uh, wage war, at least as much as they do. Absolutely. Uh, so I don't know, Beth. We're supposed to have some pretty smart people up there. But here's a guy about ready to leave this world down here in southern Illinois because of age. <laughs> don't do that I yet. Sense, I got sense <laughs> enough to see that, Beth. Well, you know, and I'm not. An, I'm sir. I'm far from a genius, and uh, I can see the handwriting on the wall. But I think maybe you have to be simple. <laughs> Maybe you have to be simple to see it. The others think too deep. You know, I'll say this and I'll let you go because I know you got other customers, uh, people. But, Beth, I guess I'm one of the last of the happy day generations mm. uh, where the worst thing that ever happened in a movie was Gene Autry kissed his horse. <laughs> and uh, not everything gets kissed by the horse, and they, and they breed violence in, they get violence out, then they wonder why some kid shoots up a school. So I don't know. Crazy. Beth, I love you guys. And keep you in you. My, my prayers, okay? Thank you very much. I need those prayers. Thank you. Bye-bye. Appreciate that. Well, when we talk about fighting this at home, and by the way, I am opening the phone lines. It's 877-895-5410. The Enemy Within is what I have titled today's show. But when we talk about fighting this at home, we have, st- we have got to start taking responsibility as the republic. Within our communities, within our counties, within our homes, within our neighborhoods, within our states. So I have given out the phone number, and I do not have the phone number for all 50 state governor's offices. But I have given out the phone number to the D.C. switchboard numerous times, and I, I've got it memorized now. It's 202-224-2131. You need to do the same. But to start it at home... Call your governors. Several governors have already, at least three of them, have already stood up and said, no refugees are going to be allowed in my state. That's sovereignty, my friends. No refugees are going to be allowed in my state. I will not hold them. I will not keep them. I will not allow it. The Alabama um, governor has said this, and the Michigan governor has said this would not resettle any refugees from Syria in their states. And I believe Bobby Jindal has come out. That's in Louisiana. He's come out and said this. That's where we need to start. If we stop, if we stand on our sovereignty as states, because remember, the states are what is sovereign. You are sovereign, a sovereign individual, a sovereign state, and then a sovereign nation. D.C. 
does not have jurisdiction over you for everything. You are sovereign. Supposed to be. As long as you keep the laws. But now, of course, they've got so many laws, we don't know what we're doing. Call your governors. I do not have all the governor's numbers. I can't, I only have a one-hour show. I can't give them all. Call your governor's offices. No refugees. Call your state representatives. No refugees. Call your state senators. No refugees. None. We have to start at home. Paris was taken off guard. Paris is overrun. They have refugees, and there is proof that some of these were from that. Well, it was just hours, literally, before the attack in Paris that President Barack Obama said that ISIS is contained. Well, I'm not sure what he meant. Well, I know what he meant. But was ISIS contained in Paris? This is coming out of an article from the Daily Signal, which is part of the Heritage Foundation, and and Niall uh, Gardner wrote this. And I'm just sharing the last part of it with you, because the rest of it, if you've watched the news all weekend, you've heard it all. But the last part of his, his article here, three little paragraphs. It is also time for an end of the Obama White House approach of leading from behind on an international stage. The Obama administration needs to present a clear-cut, overarching, overreaching, I'm sorry, overarching strategy for defeating ISIS and aggressively confronting the Islamic threat. As British Prime Minister David Cameron declared in a Downing Street press conference on Friday, following the successful killing of ISIS terrorist Mohammed I can't say the name, Umwa, Jihad John, in Syria. Britain and her allies will not rest until we have defeated this evil terrorist death cult and the poisonous ideology on which it feeds. ISIS is evil. I was uh, going through, I'm going to finish this off here first. Strength and resolve are the only message that our enemies understand. And this must be backed by increased investment by the United States and its allies in military capability, strengthening the ability to project force across the world to protect and defend our vital national interests against those who seek our destruction. They seek our destruction. They don't want to come in and take over and be a part of America. They want you gone. ISIS is evil. As I was getting ready to say and interrupt myself earlier, I post on Facebook what the show is going to be about, and I tweet it out just minutes before I go on the air. Sometimes it's a little cutting it too close. And I usually search for some kind of a picture to go with whatever I'm going to talk about. So I was searching for pictures of ISIS. And there's pictures. They're proud of what they do. There's pictures of them crucifying people, burning people alive. One, they had them on spigots, like an animal over a fire. These people are evil. It's not enough just to kill you. They've got to make it a terrorist killing so that you who are still alive will fear them. Do not give up your guns. Do not give up your guns. Do not allow your governor to allow the refugees into your state. It's time to take care of our children. It's time to watch out for our grandchildren. Not all of us can have a media jet fly us to Paris to go protect our children. We need to protect them right here, right now. 877-895-5410 is the number to call. That's 877-895-5410. And we will be right back.
girl needs accessories. So does a website these days. It's not enough to have just one accessory either. CSC Talk Radio is excited to announce we have an app for that. You can now listen to CSC Talk Radio easily on your smartphones, Android or iPhone. We have an app for that. Share this app port and news with your friends and family. They can now join in the common sense. Calling all patriots. We have an app for that. Visit csctalkradio.com and download the app. Listen to live streaming or the show's podcast designed for triple L. Listening later leisurely. Accessories are necessary. Join CSC Talk Radio on your phone. We've accessorized. Visit csctalkradio.com and download the app. App, working with technology to bring America home. We have an app for that. CSCTalkRadio.com. CSCTalkRadio.com. Hear ye, hear ye. The pen is here. News hot off the presses. The pen is the bi-monthly newsletter for CSC Talk Radio. Beth Ann and friends have packed it with information you won't read in the paper from the corner newsstand. News, opinions, and insights all packed into this economical read. Just $24.95 will buy you six issues yearly. Common sense is what we speak, and it's also what we write. The pen is a compilation of many writers. We know you're going to enjoy. The news these days is isn't easy to digest, but it is necessary to keep informed, and that is what we at CSC Talk Radio strive to do, serving listeners in every way. Order your subscription today. Send $24.95 to CSC Talk Radio, P.O. Box 73, California, Missouri, 65018. Keep informed. Send $24.95 to P.O. Box 73, California, Missouri, 65018, and request your subscription to the pen today. Here's George Foreman with InventHelp. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee a company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. To get your free inventor's information, call 1-800-351-9820. That's 1-800-351-9820. Again, 1-800-351-9820. Lexus Day Talkville wants stated, America is great because she is good. If America ceases to be good, America will cease to be great. To know where we are going, we must remember from whence we came. Looking back in our American history, we can see the hand of God. He wrought many miracles in our nation and brought us through much to be a nation under Him, a nation under God. We've forgotten from whence we came. America has lost her greatness. America ceases to be good because we've forgotten our God who is all that is good. Sue and Bill Federer have compiled 32 truths which in our history show the hand of God, His answered prayers, His miracles, and His mercy on our nation. For only $22, Miracles in American History will encourage and uplift you. Order Miracles in American History. Send $22 to CSC Talk Radio, Post Office Box 73, California, Missouri, 65018, or order online at csctalkradio.com. We have returned. You're listening to CSC Talk Radio. This is Beth, and we're going to go straight to the phones. I wanted to kind of move on to another topic that I'm going to actually interweave with what's going on. But let's uh, go to Joe from Arkansas. Joe, how are you today? Yeah, good morning, Beth. Yeah, I'll tell you what really concerns me about the situation in Paris is I understand that this is being used as a justification to put the American military and the French military into Syria, on the troops on the ground, to go after Assad. They want to overthrow Assad, and they're blamed, somehow blaming Assad for the attack in Paris. And so, of course, Russia is there to defend Assad, because apparently, from what I hear, Assad asked Russia to come in to help him against ISIS. And so Russia is there to fight ISIS. And uh, so it looks to me like it could very possibly lead to a direct confrontation between 
the American military and the Russian military in Syria, and that could possibly lead to a war with Russia. And I understand that Russia has some kind of alliance with China, so that if Russia goes to war against the United States, China is likely to come in on the side of the Russians against the United States also. And personally, I do not trust Barack Obama to be a good commander-in-chief in a war between the United States and Russia and China. You know, I'm and feeling so the same. it looks to me like the situation could become very, very, very dangerous. I, uh, I agree with you 100 percent. First of all, is that really where we want to go? Second of all, we don't have a leadership to do that. Third of all, he's, uh, he's crippled our military to some degree. And it just goes on and on and on. But I do think that ISIS is an enemy. I do not think climate change is an enemy. I do think that we need to secure our borders. And I do think that we need to strengthen our military. Um, I think we need to stop talking about and uh, debating back and forth some of this ridiculous stuff that these elect- these uh, campaigners are campaigning for, particularly, well, all of them, all of them, I'm going to pick on all of them, you know, the Democrat and the Republican parties. Uh, and uh, but particularly, I watched the Democrat debate this weekend and, you know, they they just can't promise you enough free stuff. You know, if we all get all that free stuff, we might as well just stay home and not work, right? Somebody's got to work. <laughs> well, it's I'm evil. I'm going to working no matter what free stuff they it's, offer me, and I'm not going to take any of their free stuff. It's evil. It's the evil rich, and I'm thinking all three of them sitting up there had a lot more money than I got. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to let you go, Joe, because I've got some others hanging on. Thank you so much. We have Walter from Michigan. Walter, how are you today? Good, Beth. How are you? I'm fine, uh, sir. There's something being left out of the equation, and I think there's been several broadcasters that pointed this out. ISIS has been trained and supplied by the American military. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All this garbage about ISIS being our enemy, the enemy is being directed by the people that control our government. Well, I did That's say that. True. I didn't put it in those words, but I did say that. They were trained in Jordan by our military to create uh chaos in all the independent Arab states, and they're doing, trying to use them as a boogeyman for here in us, in our country, so they can declare martial law. Well, you know, that's they, what it's about. You know, I always hear that. I hear the martial law threat every time something happens. And uh, um, basically, we, we've got so many laws on the books, we're in martial law anyway. I mean, you it's, can't, it's you can't do much, anything. What's that? It's just about uh, making new laws. They want to dictatorship over the people of this country and disarm us. And the United Nations that we house in our country, (laughs) the the head of the United Nations just came there and called for a new world order. And we spent $450 million protecting that criminal when he came here. You know... Calling for carbon taxes and redistribution of your and my wealth. Right. I don't have any wealth, so good luck redistributing well, that. that. <laughs> so whatever you got, they'll make sure that they have electronic transfers to your fund. Oh, you know, it's just crazy. It really is crazy, and it's it it goes. It still falls back to the republic. We have failed. We have That's failed right. to be we, we the we, people. We have failed to we've failed to uh, to um, keep that spirit of independence. When we sit and listen to these, when we sit and listen to these candidates promising us free stuff, mm-hmm. we're lazy. And what kind of government stuff promotes free stuff? Socialist, communist, right? Absolutely. Well, and of course, you know, Bernie Sanders runs on that. You know, how do they get away with that? What is the matter with we the people out here that they get up there? Well, let me finish because I'm on a rant. They get up there and they take an oath of office to protect the Constitution of the United States. And then they run and say, I'm a democratic socialist. How do they get away with that? Because. They do it because our government officials have been bribed, blackmailed, and threatened. They did. They don't dare go against the people that want a new world order. And by the way, socialist communism was perfected in Paraguay from 1600 to 1756 by the Jesuit order. Read Richard Thompson's book, The Footprints of the Jesuits. He's former Secretary of the United States Navy in 1893. Read the book. Well, it it is that I can't read every book. Everybody calls, wants me to read a book. I just can't. I'm going to let yeah, you read, go. Read that one because you will find out why the socialist communism is being 
uh, push in this country. It's destroy the constitutional republic, the middle class. No, well, they've hated us the, for a long time. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. I appreciate the call, Walter. Thank you. I wanted to kind of jump back into uh, into the uh, the topic of our campuses and the unrest on our campuses with our our black students and some of the white students and. Uh, We've seen, you know, it showed uh, back in the day when the uh, college students were protesting a war, Vietnam War. And now they're protesting their feelings. I don't believe in being prejudiced. I don't believe in being ugly. I don't believe in any of that. But I also don't think you're going to get rid of it 100%, so you better toughen up. And I guess maybe that's easy for me to say where I live, where it's a small community and very little goes on. But a Vanderbilt Vanderbilt professor, she is a black conservative professor of law, and she is under fire. She has a Facebook page, but she has been under fire for a while now, and they're trying to demand her resignation. Now they want her suspended. And it goes on and on and on. And she basically tells them they need to grow up. And that's what I would probably tell them because I'm the mom and I would say you need to grow up. You know what? You're going to get your feelings hurt. You know what? Life isn't always fair and there are bad guys and there are ugly people out there. Don't be one of them. We can't allow students to protest over things. And demand resignations of presidents and professors and teachers just because. That is, in and of itself, an act of terrorism. They're scaring these universities into this. And with Missouri, and I, I, you know, I didn't go to MU, but I'm an MU Tiger fan. But I was sickened over what they had done. Very disappointed in those football players. They sign a contract with the university. If they don't show up for practice, I don't know what all is in their contract, but I know they have to play football, and you have to practice to play football, and then you get your education. It was all based on a hoax. And they were holding the university hostage. And that's what these students protesting are doing. Now, the way to handle a bully is to bully him back. You make them tote the line. Football players want to strike. They're done playing football. Now, that's talking about some money, isn't it, in the universities? Is it about money? Is it about education? Is it about making good people, good citizens? 877-895-5410 is the number to call. 877-895-5410. And we, the people, will be right back. What every American needs to know about the Koran, a history of Islam and the United States. Bill Federer has done it again. He makes history come to life, and current events all connect that to history. Sultans conquered the 1,000-year-old Byzantine city of Constantinople. Jefferson sent Marines to stop the Muslim Barbary pirates of Algiers and Tripoli. Woodrow Wilson tried saving millions of Americans killed in Turkey. History that affects you and me today. In 2006, Keith Ellison was the first Muslim 
elected to the U.S. Congress. He swore on a Koran. What does this mean? Educate and activate. We shouldn't form opinion or initiate actions before we know the truth. Purchase your copy of What Every American Needs to Know About the Koran. Today, send $22 to CSE Talk Radio, P.O. Box 73, California, Missouri, 65018. Or order on the website at csctalkradio.com. That's $22 for the history of Islam and the United States. CSC Talk Radio's goal is to bring America home. That includes you and your business. Radio is a powerful way to brand your company and increase your profits. Find out how to join CSC Talk Radio, help educate and activate America, and grow your business at the same time. Looking for new customers? Looking to have your business reaching out from sea to shining sea? Advertise with CSC Talk Radio. Believe in your product? Let Beth Ann be your personal spokesperson and to properly brand your product and company. It's simple, easy, and affordable. Grow your business, grow common sense, and together we will bring America home. To be a part of CSC Talk Radio, call 573-796-2166. That's 573-796-2166. Or send email to beth at csctalkradio.com. Dairy Supply has gone above and beyond the call of duty for all their dairy customers. Many of you men call Hamby Dairy Supply to inquire about certain products. When all is explained, you men make the wisest of all statements. I need to ask my wife. Well, Hamby Dairy Supply female employees are wise and can help you make those decisions that just might keep you out of trouble and perhaps even make you the hero of the day. Let Hamby Dairy Supply ladies assist you in making those hard to decide dairy supply decisions. And women, Hamby Dairy Supply can help you too. If you need male second opinion, let the Hamby Dairy Supply men assist you. Call them now at 1-800-306-8937 or shop online at HambyDairySupply.com and let the Hamby Dairy Supply staff of wives and husbands help meet all your dairy supply needs. That's 1-800-306-8937. Hamby Dairy Supply for all your dairy supply needs. Did you know that whether you're making a phone call, texting a friend, or checking email, you can be making a difference for CSE Talk Radio? That's right. When you sign up for wireless service from our friends at Affinity 4, not only do you receive affordable rate plans with nationwide coverage on one of America's largest wireless networks, you'll also be supporting CSC Talk Radio through Affinity 4's Give Back program. Affinity 4 Wireless offers a variety of phones from leading manufacturers, and you can choose from individual and shared plans to meet your needs. And you can keep your same phone number. Call 1-800-311-2021 today and let the Affinity 4 customer service team help you select the best plan and phone for your needs. And remember, when you sign up for any of Affinity 4's products and services, a portion of the proceeds will be donated back to CSC Talk Radio. Don't wait. Call today, 1-800-311-2021, and ask about their current wireless promotions, including a free month of service and free phone offers. That's 1-800-311-2021. have returned. You're listening to CSE Talk Radio. This is Beth Ann. I've been kind of going over the events of all the weekend. I didn't uh, dwell too long on the Democratic debate, but uh, I did watch it. I forced myself. I had to talk myself into it. I was like a little kid with a mom beating up on her saying, you got to do your homework. So I did it. And uh, But I haven't talked a lot about that today because I wanted to cover what else is going on? But I have a caller from Nebraska. We have Sheila. Sheila, how are you today? Good morning, Beth Ann. What's on your mind? Well, the Syrian refugees, for one thing, mm-hmm. if they want a place to go, how about Antarctica? <laughs> <laughs> there wouldn't be any global warming there, would there? <laughs> I don't think there'd be any global warming. And, you know, they could just set up their own country and have whatever they want there. Yeah, but except what they really want is you and me dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, That's exactly right. I appreciate it, she- yeah, Sheila. The other thing I wanted to tell you was your comment just before break about the colleges. You know, I'm sorry, but I think colleges are nothing but a big business. You're right. Education is not their 
their focus. Numbers, yes. And as far as Missouri, if what's been going on down there, if I had a kid in that school, I would be down there grabbing him by the ear and taking him out of there. Yeah. If he had been participating in, in this nonsense. Oh, yeah. Mine wouldn't have been what allowed to. What about your brats? Yeah. Oh, exactly. Exactly. And the one who was doing the hunger strike, his father's a millionaire. Oh, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> well, so who cares if somebody wants to do a hunger strike? I mean, who are they hurting except themselves? That's right. He didn't, he didn't really go on a hunger strike to help themselves. I bet he wouldn't have lasted two days. Uh, yeah, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. I appreciate it, Sheila. Thank you so much. You're, and you're, you're right on. You and I are in agreement. Thank you. As we close today's show, I do have some other things here. I was, things were hot on Twitter. I know everybody thinks I'm crazy, but I've kind of gotten to the, I'm watching Ted Cruz. I'm watching Donald Trump. I'm watching uh, Ben Carson. I'm watching Fox Business. I'm watching a lot of things. I, I love the tweets. He's really a smart aleck, and he's really a conservative, and that's the uh, the actor James Woods. I watch him I, on Twitter. And they send out some feeds, and ISIS was tweeting. Now, I didn't see any of their tweets personally, but the ones that had they'd quoted them or copied them and then sent them out, I saw those. But it is said that Immediately when they did this in Paris, they said, Rome, London, and D.C. will be next. Rome, London, and D.C. will be next. And I have another feed that came in, and it was actually naming cities. And I don't know if it's 100% true or not, but it was actually naming cities that... They are going to target, and I thought I might quickly, quickly share those with you. Now, I, like I said, this is from, actually, this is from a Spisa. He has a Facebook page, and he has some of his own news feeds. Now, I don't know how reliable it is, but in Texas, they're going to target Abilene, New Braunville, San Antonio, Wiley, Fort Hood, Bedford, and Kyleen. In Indiana, it'll be Michigan City and Bolivar. In Michigan, it'll be Dearborn Heights and Lake Orion. In Connecticut, it's Bark Homestead and Manchester. In Nevada, it'd be Reno. Georgia, it'd be Griffin. I don't know why. Maryland, it'd be Upper Mar- Marlboro, Warrensburg, and Lexington Park. In Arizona, it'll be Phoenix. In Louisiana, it'll be Shreveport and Bossier City. In South Carolina, it'll be Dyland Island and Charleston. In North Carolina, it'll be Fayetteville and New Bern. In Virginia, it'll be Burke, Virginia Beach, Suffolk, Suffolk, Springfield, Norfolk, and Chesapeake. In Colorado, it'll be Colorado Springs. In California, it'll be Manford, Solvang, San Ardo, Monter- Monterey, uh, Newberry Park, and Carlsbad. In New Mexico, it'll be Farmington. In North Dakota, it'll be Minot. In South Dakota, it'll be Rapid City. In Florida, it'll be Merritt Island, Palm Coast, St. John, Middleburg, and St. Augustine. Now, like I said, I don't know the uh, legitimacy of this. This is just an out there for you. Nebraska, it'll be Bellevue. Uh, Did I give Washington? Washington State, it'll be Colton, Cheney. Seattle, Spokane, and Ancortis. In Illinois, it'll be Orland Park. In Rhode Island, it'll be Newport. In Idaho, it'll be Bonner's Bonner's Ferry. Now, that's all that was given here. But we know that we have the sleeper cells throughout the United States. We know we have mosques. We have them right here in Missouri. We know that there are training camps across the United States. There are said to be several here in Missouri. You need to wake up. Don't allow that enemy within, that apathy, your very own sleeper cell. Don't let that 
be the falling of your loved ones, your community, your state, your nation. It's time for we the people to stand up. Now, I just got a message on Facebook from a listener. She says, I called both Colorado senators and our representative and got right in this morning to say no to any more illegal refugees coming into America. 10,000 already arrived in New Orleans. 10,000 more come in to North Dakota. And she gave that number, 202-224-3121. And something else that I had here earlier that came from Facebook as well, and I'm running out of time. I was going to share it today, but his writing was exactly what kind of prompted mine today. He says, I'm writing this to apologize to anyone I have berated in previous posts. I have been blaming everyone besides the true culprit for the fall of the United States. I blamed Obama, the liberals, Hillary, Boehner, McConnell, and many others. I have been totally wrong. The real reason that America is collapsing and the world is going to the dogs is the American people. Me. We have let the world and our children and grandchildren down. We have ignored the Constitution and bankrupted the country. Our apathy and selfishness have caused this problem. The people we blame are only in power because we voted for them and put them in power. Wake up, America. Or the only one you can blame for America becoming a legend of greatness like Rome is yourself. Wake up, America, and bring America home. Dr. Michael Kaufman isn't holding back, but speaking the truth. Truth is tough, and we have a lot to learn here. Radical Islam is not knocking on our door, but is in the house, and a very real threat to America. What is Islam, and what is the true belief of those? Are they all radicals? Is there a soft side to Islam? Dr. Kaufman's book is a quick study and will reveal much to you, helping all of us understand the threat of Islam to our United States of America and our American way of life. We are slash were a Christian nation. Why are our leaders denying this? Is there a plan to take America for the global Islamic State? Yes. Order now. $13.99 includes shipping and handling. P.O. Box 73, California Mo 65018. Or order online at csctalkradio.com. Oh, one more thing. This book is made in the USA. Order your copy today of Radical Islam in the House, only $13.99. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Mm -hmm. They found me a place for what she could afford, and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe, and they just helped every step of the way, and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call A Place for Mom. This is a free service, and you can trust them to help you. If you're struggling to find reliable senior living information for your mom or dad, then call to get the free help you need during this turbulent time. Call now, 800-473-7921. 800-473-7921. Attention Americans with no health insurance. If you did not enroll under Obamacare, the deadline has passed, and you could be liable for a tax penalty. There are affordable options available, but you need to act now. Call 800-212-4972. 
Health Markets Insurance Agency has thousands of options nationwide and can help you get the government subsidies you deserve to help lower the cost of health insurance. Under the law, if you have special qualifying events such as marriage, loss of job, or moving, you may still be entitled to Obamacare coverage. At Health Markets, our service is free, and we do the work to help you find the right coverage at a price that fits your budget. Call 800-212-4972 now. That's 800-212-4972. Health Markets Insurance Agency is the DBA or assumed name of Inspire Insurance Solutions Incorporated, which is licensed as an insurance agency in all 50 states and D.C. Service and product availability may vary. Agents may be compensated. Based on your enrollment in a health plan, HMIA 000365. You're listening to Rebooting Liberty Radio Network, compelling and entertaining talk. Don't touch that dial. 